there, Stampers and Crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com, and I am <laughs> co-hosting Stamp of Palooza, Paper Pumpkin Palooza today um, with Linda. Linda actually um, did her Friday Live at 11 Eastern Standard Time, so an hour ago, and she did her August Paper Pumpkin reveal. Um, and she did a really great alternate project, which I linked to in the comments of this video, if you're on Facebook. And also, um, so I'm going to be creating something completely different. <laughs> and I hope that mine can be even remotely as cool as hers, because hers was pretty awesome. If you missed it, this is what Linda made with the paper pumpkin kit. So for those of you um, who are just joining us, welcome aboard. It's great, great to see everybody. Um, my comments are down, so if I'm looking down, I'm not being rude, I promise. I'm just reading your comments, and I want to be able to answer questions and respond to you guys. I love being able to do my classes online and being able to interact. And like our last class on Tuesday, I love the fact that you can help me out <laughs> and, and actually be a part of the class. As always with my lives, I have um, live prize patrol which I'll be giving away at the end of this episode. And all you need to do is leave a comment. And I have got the much coveted Scrapmans. Uh, everybody's looking for these. These are fantastic. I'm giving two away live. They're bundles with the August Paper Pumpkin Kit, which is called Giftable Greetings. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. So two people will win this bundle live. And if you're not watching live um, or you didn't get to win one live, you will be entered into my after live drawing. Um, and that is for the same bundle, same bundle, and you enter the same way. Just leave a comment here on this Facebook video if you're live. Um, if you're watching the replay on Facebook or on YouTube later, leave a comment and you'll be entered into the after live. And that drawing will be on September 28th. Ninth. I can't even read my handwriting. Oh, let's go down to the table. I wrote it down there. September 29th. I can't even like, <laughs> I can't even do my own, my own giveaways, but these little scrap bins, let me, let me just show these to you. They, they fold up flat and are fantastic. So these are two little bins here and then they just pop up. You throw your scrap and your, your trash in them and they're awesome. You can hang them on the side of the table. I, I, I seriously hope Stampin' Up! starts putting these in the catalog because they will sell like hot cakes. So, um, again, all you need to do is leave a comment. Now, here's the bonus. Um, if you share this video and you typed in the comment shared, S-H-A-R-E-D, which you probably can't read right there. I have it, type, I have it written. Um, type that into the comments. You will be entered a second time into the afterlife drawing so you can double your chances of winning that. And speaking of doubling uh, your chances, in case you missed this on my blog or on Facebook, um, a lot of you are being affected by these crazy hurricanes that are scary and hitting us. I, I know a lot of you were affected by Harvey out in the in the Texas area, and um, Hurricane Irma is on its way up towards Florida. Uh, I, it is a really kind of scary, scary um, hurricane season this year. It's unbelievably crazy. Stampin' Up! Um, is always out there to make a difference, always doing outreach, and I love them for this. Um, and so they have partnered with the Red Cross. And if you um, have not made a donation, want to make a donation for, you know, it, or even if you have and want to make one, they are matching our donations up to $50,000. So if you donate through the link on my blog or through the link on Stampin' Up, um, it, it is um, tax deductible and Stampin' Up will match it. So that's pretty flipping awesome. It doubles our efforts. So it doubles the, the help that the Red Cross can give. And Janet, I am, I'm praying for you and everybody in Florida. She says it's headed her way. It is very scary. I'm watching it. And, and that big red blob is just crazy. And I'm happy to be able to give some crafting relief um, for those of you who are watching it, who are involved in it, who are part of it. That's, um, you know, some of what this craft therapy is all about. So for that, we are going to jump into the paper pumpkin. But do know that our hearts are with you through this time. Paper pumpkin, if you're not familiar with it, is um, crafting kits. <laughs> Little craft therapy in a box. So these are um, crafting kits. They come, they, they look just like the prizes I'm going to be giving away. I did a reveal on um, the, my, when I got my paper pumpkin kit for August, I did a reveal. And um, I got the giftable greetings kit. And I showed you everything that was in it. So that's in a separate video. And I'm just going to give you a quick screenshot. These are everything that's in this kit that I am about to show you. And I am very happy to say that these um, supplies, this, these refill kits are 
available in my online store. Now, I do have to shout out that they are while supplies last. So once they sell out and they have been known to sell out, they're gone. They're gone for good. So if you want to get the refill kits, you can purchase this in my online store. Just click on the link in this video's description. Now here is what the kit makes. Now when I did my reveal, I did, I, I made kind of out of the box. You know, it's hard for me to go <laughs> exactly like the directions. I feel like I have to go a little bit outside the box, but, but I did show how easy these are to make right out of the box. Everything's included in the kits every month and they're different every month. Um, and I just flashed a second ago the, the, the special. This is only until Sunday. September 10th. If you haven't, if you, if you're dying to do this paper pumpkin, um, the paper pumpkin kit fun and paper pumpkin palooza, like Linda and I are doing back to back alternate projects today, which is really fun. You can see some different ideas with the same kit. Um, and you haven't actually purchased yet and you're ready to, you can get half off the paper pumpkin kit in September, September's kit, simply by subscribing. And the link is in this video's description. You have to do it by Sunday, September 10th though, in order to take advantage of the special. So I had a fun project that I designed. And if you guys read my blog this morning, <laughs> you're going to know, you probably know what I'm about to tell you. I, I do put these up a little early so you can get this free PDF. Um, this is the project that we're going to make today. And um, it's made, it's an alternate project, something a little different. I always like to do something a little different with these kits, um, just so you can see some alternate ideas. Sometimes people don't love the kit but they love the alternate projects and sometimes they like to do something a little bit different with them and sometimes they love it and they just wanna do something different with their leftover supplies. So I always like to be able to, to give you some options with the kit and that's where I came up with these alternate projects. Well, when I made this get this set of cards using the, um, the kit, I, I mean, I love them. I think they came out awesome. And I used um, the pedal punch and lo and behold, and when I went to put my supplies list together for my free PDF here, duh, the pedal punch retired. I had no, I, I guess I, I, I didn't just didn't pay attention. So sometimes it happens to the best of us. And, and what that means is that you can't buy it anymore. So I know a lot of you have it, which is great. And you can copy what I made exactly if you have it or have one of the die sets that are close to it. Um, but if you don't have it, it means you can't get it. And that's kind of mean for me to show you something that you can't. And make. So what I did after I realized that I, I saw that the Blossom Builder Punch was very, very close or, you know, something that could make a very good substitute. So I threw together um, the same exact card, but made it with the Blossom Builder Punch, which after I made it and here's two, um, two together, I kind of like the Blossom Builder Punch better. <laughs> so go, there it goes to show you. So anyways, um, I am going to make it with the, um, with the Blossom Builder. And um, Karen is asking, do they automatically send you the next month's kit if you go with the 50% off in September? Karen, I believe so. However, um, so Paper Pumpkin is a subscription. This is actually a really good question. But the Paper Pumpkin kits are a subscription and um, you can pause and you can cancel them at any time. So I think you can go in, do the September kit at 50% off and then pause it if you don't wish to get October's. But I'm going to tell you right now, Everybody that does that regrets it as soon as they see the kit. <laughs> Every month I get that. Do you have any more of these? Because, and I don't, just so you know, I give all mine away here um, on these lives. So I don't have extras to sell you. And, and everybody's looking for them once they cancel or, or they, they don't get that particular month. You can download this free PDF on my stampwithtammy.com blog. Um, and there's a link in this video's description. Thank you, Janet. Janet says she likes the, the Blossom Builder better too. Yeah, I know. It's so I, I, it's so funny how that worked out because I, I didn't pick it up at first, and then after I, you know, after I realized that the pedal builder, the pedal punch had retired, I'm like, oh, let's let's do it with Blossom Builder, and I loved it. So that's what we're gonna make right now. So all the measurements um, and all the the additional supplies are available in my online store. Um, and they are on that free PDF. You can get that on my blog. I'm going to go ahead and get stamping. Now, um, one of the things that was included in this kit, and this is right out of the box, um, was this box. Actually, this kit was made to be a gift, like to make the cards and give the actual set as a gift. Or you could just keep this cool little box. Um, and so you can also put these alternate cards in this cool box that comes in the refill as well. And these are um, the kit as it came, like right out of the box. There's also an instructional video on my blog that shows how to actually make the cards from the box. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna make two cards today. I'm gonna make um, the Peekaboo Peach and the, um, the Pool Party. 
and I will note that I accidentally put soft sky instead of pool party on the instruction list. And I'm going to try to remember to change that. But if I don't, both of them look great with this. Um, they're both, all the cards are created the same way. And the only difference here is the one that I did with Calypso Coral. I took the peach flower and sponged the entire flower to make it Calypso Coral. So it, it kind of blended with the card. But they're all made the same way. So I'm just going to make these two to show you the two different ones. So for the Peekaboo Peach card and the Calypso Coral card, both of those colors came in the kit as um, card bases. So this is the Peekaboo Peach card base, or you could use Peekaboo Peach card stock. Peekaboo Peach is fun to say when you're saying it a few times fast, as I'm, I'm noticing right now. <laughs> I'm just ready for me to like, you know, say something accidental there. Um, and then this is, I like I said, I accidentally pulled Soft Sky thinking this was Soft Sky. And so I'm going to recut this with Pool Party. Because the, the um, flowers that came in the kit were actually Pool Party and Peekaboo Peach. So I've got an 8.5 by 11 sheet of Pool Party cardstock here. And I'm going to slide that right into the paper trimmer at 5.5 on the long side. And just use the cutting blade, which is this um, gray. And that's going to give me two card bases. That's how easy it is to make these card bases. So I'll we'll just put one aside for another project. And we're going to score this one. At least I hope I am. At least I have. Yeah, I do. I hope I have a bone folder around here so I can get a nice crisp score line on there. So just burnish the end of that for a nice crisp fold. So we have our two card bases to get started with. And again, if, if a Calypso Coral was available, I'd do that one too. But I made a lot of these because <laughs> I liked them. So next up, um, I'm going to do the stamping. So I've taken the um, these pieces of paper here are from the Wood Textures Designer Paper Pack, which is um, in my online store. This is a really fun designer series paper. Now I've got a, some cut up pieces in the front here, but I'm going to flip through so you can see all the different wood grain styles. And I actually used a couple different ones, different of the, the color variations on these cards. So like you can see on this one, I used a lighter wood. I used a different green on this one. So they all made very, very fun cards. On these two that I'm doing right now, I used a darker one. So I am going to, and let's see, I'm going to start with um, the background of the designer paper. So what I did with these two pieces was I took the um, Whisper White Craft Pad, which is a, a pigment ink. This is the only pigment ink that we, we currently have. Um, it's slightly different than the classic inks, um, which is important for the white because white does not show up. If it were classic, it wouldn't show up on a dark color, but the pigment ink is a thicker ink and it makes it sit on top of um, the paper a little bit and it shows up. So the white shows up on a dark paper. And I'm just taking some scrap paper here for the background. So what I've done is I've taken from the stamp set that came in the kit, and I'll show that to you again, just in case you missed it. Um, this is the stamp set that came in the kit, and the, this is the stamp that I'm using. They're photopolymer stamps that come in these kits, which are awesome because you can see through them. And I'm just stamping a couple of random stems here around the edges of both of these pieces of cardstock. I'm sorry, of designer paper. Okay, and... I hope that my projects can semi come close to Linda's super cool project <laughs> that she just whipped out right off the top of her head. Was that awesome? Did you guys see her live? We're having paper pumpkin palooza today. <laughs> it was unintentional. We were just hanging out yesterday doing some stamping and I was making these projects and she's like, hey, I'm working with my paper pumpkin on my live tomorrow too. And I'm like, awesome. We're going to have paper pumpkin palooza. Party time. Excellent. Yeah. So I love it when we can give you a whole bunch of ideas because that really, really adds to the value of these paper pumpkin kits when you can see all kinds of different stuff. So um, these are the two um, die cut flowers that came in the kit and they'll also be in the refill. So I'm taking one of each color for um, one of each of these. And then I'm taking Calypso Coral and Night of Navy ink pads. So the Calypso Coral um, is additional. The Night of Navy, the stampin' spot for the Night of Navy actually came in the kit. And actually, I probably should have waited to do this step, but we're just going to go with it anyway. And I'm going to sponge the edge of these flowers. The reason why I should have waited is because we're going to sponge the edge of some other flowers <laughs> once I punch them out. But, yeah, that's okay. It's all good and fun, right? You guys like sponging. 
Sponging is good for your soul. So a little Calypso Coral on that peekaboo peach one really makes it pop. Okay, so those are our two main flowers. I'm just going to push those over for just a second. Um, and while we're doing our stamping, I'll go ahead and stamp our words on here. I'm going to use the same words on both of these. And I'll, I did not attach this yet, but I just kind of lined it up where I'm going to attach it to stamp the words. So I'm stamping thinking of you for these. Because this goes out to everybody who's affected by these hurricanes. I am thinking of you. Lots of thoughts and prayers right now. Okay, so we've got two thinking of you cards going. But again, those can be swapped out for any of the sayings that come in that stamp set. Okay. Um, Justin is asking, if you miss the Paper Pumpkin kit for a month, could you just purchase the refill? Yes and no. You have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, although you, if you're on pause, I think that still counts. You can purchase a refill. However, the refills do not come with the stamp sets. Um, this refill did come with the box, um, but the stamp set isn't part of it, so you would need to swap out the stamp sets for something else, which can be done. Okay, so next up, we're going to punch our flowers. So for... The Peekaboo Peach card, we're going to punch Calypso Coral and Peekaboo Peach. And for um, the uh, Pool Party, we're going to do Pool Party and Night of Navy. Although I have soft sky, so we're just going to go. We're just going to roll with that one. <laughs> okay, so this time I am using the Blossom Builder punch. Um, and I'm going to stamp, I'm sorry, punch out four of the, um, the darker color and three of the lighter color. So I just want this, this one flower. And so to save on the cardstock, I'm just kind of taking some little scraps of the um, strips and punching those out. Okay. And one more for the blue card. And then we'll jump on over and do four peekaboo peaches. I'm sorry, four, four Calypso Corals, right? Because we want the darker for that card. Okay. This is a great way to use up your uh, <laughs> your card stop scraps. Make sure you save your scraps because these are, you know, great uses for them. Nothing ever goes to waste. You guys like that too? Like I, I, I went through and actually got rid of some of my teeny tiny little strips of paper that... You know, they're less than an inch strips that I save everything. And finally, I'm like, okay, there's no more room in my folder for these. And they got to go. So I, it broke my heart to do it too. <laughs> it's cardstock. I'm thinking to myself, really? I cannot believe you're having such a hard time throwing cardstock out. Okay, so I need three of the lighter color. So three peekaboo peaches, three of the pool party. Or soft sky, depending on whichever one you grabbed. Melanie's asking, she missed Linda's um, Paper Pumpkin live um, earlier because she was out. And yes, her replay is already on, I mean, on Facebook, it doesn't really go away. Um, but she will be having it up on YouTube shortly. Okay. So we have all of our pieces stamped. And then we're going to go through and sponge all of them. Which is why I was thinking, oh, I probably should have just sponged all at once. But hey, you know, whatever. We'll just roll with it. They're quick on the little guys. Just a little bit on the tips there. And I don't need to do the Night of Navy because it doesn't really show up. It's a very, very dark color to begin with. This is an awesome punch. Yeah, Carrie's saying, I need that punch. Yeah, it is. It's an awesome punch. I don't know why I didn't think to use it on the originals. But hey, if you have that pedal build, uh, pe I'm sorry, the pedal punch that I used on the originals, it's beautiful as well. So options. We all love options, right? Gives us different, you know, different things that we can do. Okay, so I am going to sponge the edges of the Calypso Coral because it really does add a little pow to them. It does show up on those. It gives them a little pow. They do like little, little, little starfish, Dina says. They do. Super cute. All righty. I got one more. 
And then we're going to stamp. This um, tiny little center of the flower comes in the kit. I'm going to stamp it on... Um, I'm going to stamp it on the blue, but I don't think the blue will show up quite as much. So I guess I just really need to stamp it on the coral, one of the coral flowers, because I don't know that the blue is going to show, but... We'll stamp it anyways. We don't want the blue to feel left out. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, you know, it's like your your kids. You gotta play fair. Okay. So that concludes the stamping portion of our online class today. Next up, we are going to do a little bit of, or a lot bit of assembly. I'm gonna start with the mini glue dots, which I'm using for the little starfish flowers. <laughs> I'm going with it, Tina. <laughs> the starfish flowers it is. So just sticking that right to a mini glue dot for our center and then layering that on top of another one to give it that really cool petal flower petal effect and then that goes right in the center of this flower so there's one and we're going to do that again with the blue so the blue card the same way anytime you're making multiples of um, cards especially where the holidays are coming up and we're going to be making like large amounts of the same card for holidays um, I always recommend doing what I call assembly line, which is what I'm doing right now, kind of doing all, you know, we did all the cutting, we'll do all the stamping at once, and then we'll do all the assembly at once of all of them. It really makes it go so much quicker when you do it that way. And for those of us that do swaps, um, same thing. The swaps, you know, do them like when we're demonstrators and we do demonstrated card swaps, we do them um, kind of assembly, what I call assembly line style. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull that out because that's not really attached yet. I don't want you to get confused. So um, I'm just taking some snail adhesive. You can also use the mini glue dots for that and sticking the flowers. And I'm intentionally going off the edge here. And then I do need the mini glue dots, although you could use snail if you wanted to. It just gets a little bit messier. The glue dots are a little bit easier to work with with the, the starfish <laughs> portions. Um, and then what I did with those is again, layered them on top of the, the darker color there and then then put those on the cards and intentionally went off the edge there and you know what i guess we only needed two of these later i don't know what i was thinking that we needed three but we've got a bonus for the you know another project <laughs> okay it's never it's never a bad idea to have extras you never know what you might need them for okay Oh, Karen, you are awesome. She says, I always learn so much watching your videos. I appreciate you so much. And we've got one more flower. We've got little bonus little petals that we can maybe stick on the inside of the card or do something else with. Okay, so. Now that we've got that done, we're going to just trim up the extras. A little extra guys here and I've got a pair of scissors that I'm just going to trim off the overhang here on our our wood texture uh, cardstock I'm sorry designer paper and doo -doo -doo. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done some singing I spared you guys <laughs> oh that's why the that's why the um the, the viewership has gone up so high because I stopped singing. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I've been scaring everybody away. They're like, we like the projects, but I, we can't we can't hear the singing. We have to turn the volume off. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, okay, so this is what ends up happening when we trim off the extras. And then when you put it down, it really looks awesome. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stick those down with some snail adhesive. And we already lined up the words there, so I'm just going to line it up with where I, I already stamped the words. Thanks, Amy. Amy says, you make everything look easy and fun. Everything is easy and fun. Really, there is nothing nothing complicated about, about making these cards. Um, but... <laughs> You know, we we always can we always can find something that we can do, you know, to alter it or, you know, I always do something wrong. Or what I think is wrong that ends up being, you know, super cool. Like for example, I picked a, a punch that 
was retired. And then I said, oh my gosh, why, you know, let me find, let me do this with something different. And when I did, I liked it even better with this Blossom Builder Punch. So these leaves are in the kit. They are also in the refill. I'm going to take two of the larger ones and kind of sneak them underneath that, the edge of that big flower there. And then two of the smaller one and do the same thing. I agree, Donna says, I really like when things go off the edge. It looks more professional. It does. It just, there's just something about it that just, that really, that like striking here, it really catches your eye. So we can go ahead and stick these down on the card bases. So the two card bases for these two that I'm using, one of them came in the kit. This one came in the kit, the Peekaboo Peach. And I'm going to just put that down again. The measurements are on that free PDF that were on my blog. And the pool party, I just cut just on this episode to make this um, because I wanted one in blue to match the blue flowers that came in the kit. Ah, I have smudgy fingers. No, like what didn't I just say? I always do something, always. All right, you guys, love me. Whoever wins this one of these giveaways is going to end up getting my, my thinking of you card with the smudge. Just know that is smudged with love. I would probably sponge around the edges now after. In fact, maybe I'll do that. Do you think we should do that? Sponge around the edges? Yeah, why not? Should we do it while it's attached? Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? We can we can play with anything here. There's no right or wrong way. I've got some Calypso Coral here. I'm gonna do the whole thing. Sponge the whole thing around the edges. And one of you lucky winners is gonna get this. <laughs> and you're gonna go, hey, I remember when she did that. <laughs> Oh, I like it actually. I like the sponging on it. I can never go wrong with sponging. Maybe I should fingerprint everything. <laughs> That's kind of cool, right? Again, you know, you're just stepping it up, stepping it up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Chris says, stand on the sponge. There has to be a smudge. So I'm taking these little rhinestone jewels and the medium sized one for the smaller flowers. And I actually went kind of with the smaller one for the larger flowers. I know that sounds backwards, but I just liked the way that looked because there was already some stamping on the smaller flower. So it didn't take away from that. that in line and there we go our cards are complete and they are awesome smudged or not smudged <laughs> donna says saved by the sponge every single time right so there you go when you smudge your card that's how you, that's, there's a quick and easy fix for it just a little sponge and voila you have a beautiful card all right gang well our online class this concludes the stamping portion of our online class and we are going to jump right on over here to our giveaway where i'm giving away two of the kits that we just used which is the august giftable greetings paper pumpkin kit along with scrapping right awesome okay you can't even buy these right this is the only way you can get them unless you're a demonstrator and even then i don't even know that they still have them so if you've left a comment or you're about to leave a comment, you've got to, oh, thank you for the hearts. I love you guys. You got about, I don't know, 30 seconds left unless I have to log in and then you got 35 seconds. <laughs> and um, I am going to draw the winner right now. So let's, um, whoops, let's see. Uh, I've got to find, there it is. There's the post, although it's not the one second. Oh, oh my gosh, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So much fun. So much fun. Okay, here we go. We have 364 comments. Oh, awesome. Awesome. So we got two winners coming at you live and then the after live will be on September 28th. Did I say the 8th? Um, I think it's the 8th. It's on, it's on that blog and I'll show, I'll flash that in just a second. Okay. The first winner is Drum roll. And here it comes. First winner is Pat Williams. Congratulations, Pat from Iowa. And thank you for sharing that with your friends. Love you. And you will be receiving one of these paper pumpkin kits and the scrap bin. And the second winner is 
Ziana, I hope I'm saying that right, Ziana Sherman, congratulations. Be sure to fill out the prize claim form, which is, um, there's a link to that in the video description. Make sure you fill that out so that I know where to send these. And I will get these right out. Um, again, the after live drawing, if you didn't win, here it comes, September 29th. Good luck to everybody. Um, and we will be back on Tuesday. Linda and I will be back with the Stamp and Scoop show. Plus, if you missed her live, there's a link to it in the comments on her alternate project for the Paper Pumpkin Palooza. All right, guys, have a great weekend.